us again tonight Forcing laughter, fake and smiles Same old tired, lonely place Walls of insincerity Shifting eyes and vacancy Vanished when I saw your face All I can say is it was Enchanting to meet you Whispered, have we met? Cross the room, your silhouette starts to make its way to me. The playful conversation starts, counter all your quick remarks like passing notes in secrecy. And it was enchanting to meet you. All I can say is I was enchanted to meet you This night is sparkling, don't you let it go I'm wonderstruck, blushing all the way home I'll spend forever wondering Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Enchanted by Taylor Swift. Incredible piece of pop production. It's like an amazing song, great lyric, the melody's really awesome. The way it builds through the song and the differences in the arrangement and the, the, the size of the chorus is just way absolutely incredible. But it works great on acoustic guitar as well. I'm playing it without a capo, but if you want to play it along with Taylor, you need to put a capo on the first fret. Okay, it's just a little easier for me to explain without the capo there. Uh, and I was really struggling to sing it at all just that one semitone sometimes can make quite a difference it did for me to do the little uh, uh, demo thing at the beginning so uh, let's get to a close-up check it out so the first chord you need is a G chord I used my third and fourth fingers there in the third fret on the outside strings you could choose to use your second and third perhaps you learn G the old school way but I think for me this one's the best one you pick the one that's the most comfortable for you second chord we need is a bar chord it is a B minor bar chord make sure the tip of your first finger is muting the thicker string second fret fourth fret fourth fret third fret second fret now B minor is probably the easiest bar chord if you're not that familiar with bar chords this is a good one to have a bit of a go at and start developing the finger, finger strength that you'd need to be able to play like a whole song with bar chords uh, it's a relatively slow song so you've got a bit of time to make that change there very good uh, tune to be practicing uh, your B minor with uh, the next chord is a C chord hoping you're familiar with that muting the thicker string again of course third fret second fret open first open and then it goes back to the G. Now it's one bar on each chord, but one of the kind of character traits for this intro is heavy palm muting all down strums. Now what I mean by that is you can use the outside part of your hand, the palm of your hand, to sit on the strings. You get this muted sound. If I lift it off, if you put it on there, you have to experiment a bit because if you put it on too far, you just you just get a click you don't get any note and if you don't put it on enough you don't get the effect on the original recording it's quite heavily palm muted because there's a synth playing at the same time which kind of covers the harmonic the harmony so uh yeah find the balance that you like the sound of where you can still hear the chord enough and it's one bar on each chord so g will be one and two and three and four and change two and three and four and c and two and three and four and g and two and three and then the verse starts g was there again tonight b minor laughter faking smiles c chord tired lonely g g chord insincerity b minor and vacancy c chord when i saw your g all i can say is it was c enchanting to e minor u d 
hadn't talked about those two chords. We'll talk about that in a second. All I can say, actually, it doesn't do it a second time on that time. So when it goes into the all I can say, it was enchanting to meet you thing. It goes C, enchanting to E minor. Fairly standard chord. Doesn't really matter again what finger you use. I use the middle two fingers, the second and third fingers. Then to a D. Now for the D chord, usually the bass note is would be the D, but if you hit a bit of the A, it's okay to play that on the, so it's really a D with an A you'd be playing. I don't think that's what's on the record, but it kind of sounds cool, keeps it nice and bassy. You just really want to avoid the thicker string where you're playing a D. Now, uh, it does the same thing again. Now it goes back into the second verse, but a really nice way of kind of lifting up that second verse a little bit is to do a bigger strum right the way through the chord without the palm mute keep the palm mute on the thicker strings now it's a little bit tricky okay so if you're a real beginner just ignore that i'm explaining this and go back to practicing your palm mute or regular strumming because you could of course just use regular strumming if you're finding all of this uh these palm muting things a little bit difficult just strum it with whatever strumming pattern you like but if you want to go for it i think it really sounds nice and that's doing a big strum so one so now I'm just using the corner of my palm there, just on the thicker strings, so the rest of the chord can still ring out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay, so that's the G chord whispered, have we met? B minor, the room you're silhouetted. C makes its way way to me sometimes singing the chords and the words are a little bit tricky g chord conversation starts b minor all your quick remarks like c chords in secret g and it was c enchanting to e minor u d Now here, D, sus4, back to D. One, two, three, four, D sus, D. That's just adding little finger down third fret on the thinner string. All I can see, I was enchanted to E minor U. And then we're into the next section. That's a really incredible, it's called a pop stop, where you have a little stop right before the chorus, but you can feel it kind of brewing. It's like it's gaining momentum ready for the chorus and then stop, boom, and then in, you're into the massive chorus. Great, beautifully produced tune this. I didn't look up who produced this song, but genius production. Uh, so when we go to the next section, obviously Taylor can sing right up. I couldn't do that in the demo. I just can't sing high enough to get there. But you definitely want it to feel bigger. Now, uh, you don't want to go too big in the pre-chorus there as well. The way I think it works nicely is to then play the chorus using power chords. So, so we start with a C. This is the root note here, the third fret on the fifth string. This night is G chord. Then you go to D. So you could definitely play it with open chords. So C. This night is G chord. D, you let it see. I'm wonder G, blushing D the way C. I'll spend for G chord. D, and if you see, I was enchanted to E minor U. doing G like this, you can add your first finger there, first fret of the second string for a bit of a G sus, the most holy of chords. So when it comes to the next verse, you've got a few choices here. You could go back to the palm muted thing. You could do the palm muting with the splangs. Or I think what works really nice is to bring it right down again, do even less strumming. 
keep it a little bit more sparse just because you've come from that massive chorus again gives you another chance to build it up so if i'm playing it on my own i'd be thinking about the dynamics like that obviously if you're playing it with a full band the rest of the band are helping out with the dynamic shifts as well but uh yeah i'd be going for um I spent forever wondering if you knew I was in China to meet you. Lingering question kept me up. 2 a.m. Who do you love? I wonder till I'm wide awake. Now I'm pacing back and forth Wishing you were at my door I'd open up and you would say Hey, why? So you see, if you drop it back like that You've got another chance to build it back up into the chorus You've got the It was enchanting to me, you I build it yet here, all I know is I was in China to meet you Building up again This night is sparkling Don't you let it go all the way home And then you're back into it. Now that time's a double chorus So that time it just stays on the G each time. So uh... This night is sparkling, don't you let it see, I'm Wonder G, blushing D the way home, I spent for G, God, wondering if we're going to the guitar solo guitar solo chords are G B minor C to G stay on the G G Very first page, not where the storyline ends. My thoughts will echo your name until I see you again. These are the words I held back as I was leaving too soon. I was in China to meet you. In love with someone else. They don't have somebody. It's just, the, the, even the bridge here is catchy. Like, everything about it is so beautifully arranged. Now, so going in after the solo, again, the feel of it wants to be different. The dynamic shifts in this song are amazing. It really gives a sense of lift for that chorus. Uh, so I'm going... Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four. So I'm just doing the simple on the beat. You could do E minor there, actually. I probably think that works better, doing C... That's at the seventh, E's at the seventh fret. Fifth fret. So, the very first page, not where the D chord is C. My thoughts will echo your E minor until I D you again. I said E minor, even though it's an E power chord, in case you wanted to play, uh, you could play E minor. So you could go C. And the very first E minor, and how to D it ends. My thoughts will lack all your email until I do you would see. These are the words I held in mind as I was teaching to soon. I was in China to meet you. Please don't be in love with someone else. Please don't have somebody waiting on you. So 
we're going now into this uh, sequence G, B minor, C, G, just like we had in the intro, uh, in the intro section. Now after four times around that sequence, we're back into the chorus again. I think it's a double chorus that time. Production is just exploding. It's so huge. And then it goes straight back into the uh, nice little ending there. Uh, same chords as we've talked about before. So, uh, please don't be in love with someone else. Please don't have somebody waiting on you. That's the end of the chorus. It might it might do something ever so slightly different. I can't remember because I didn't write down the very end. I just wrote down a double chorus. If you've got this far through the song, you can listen to that last part and uh, tell me in the comments what those last few chords are uh, if you've got this far. This really is an amazing song for beginners that are getting to grips, excuse the pun, with their B minor chord and also working on their power chords. But for any guitar player that wants to work on dynamics, I think you'd struggle to find a better tune. You can listen to the original recording and hear the highs and lows, where it's really big and where it gets a lot smaller, and then try and replicate that on an instrument on your own. I can't stress the importance enough if you're playing guitar on your own with friends or family or doing a gig if you do the same strumming and the same type of chords right the way through a whole song this is like a four and a half minute song it, it just gets boring for the listener so trying to figure out these different approaches you know this one having that really heavy muted beginning and then having that little strum it's such a nice idea, and it's on the original recording. It, it's separated parts, I think, but the, the, having those the, the differences there and then having the third verse where you can do it a little bit more strummy and then having a chorus where you can... where you can really let it go with some power chords. I mean, it's just... It's, it's begging for you to explore your dynamics with this tune and make it into a really solid arrangement. I think it works okay as a guy singer. It's a little bit tricky. It is definitely a little bit on the strange side to have a guy in his mid-40s there... Uh, trying to sing a female vocal like that but i you know i sing for you guys to hopefully make the the lesson better and to be able to understand how the arrangement is working out so uh please don't hack on me for that too much uh yeah i really hope you enjoyed it i'm a massive fan of taylor swift i think she's an incredible writer and performer so i've got loads more of her songs over on the website so do go and check it out if you're a swifty uh, i'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon have yourself a fantastic day bye-bye